security pat down. Yeah, that's right. Every single time I go through an airport, they're like, oh, we can't see through your jacket. I'm like, you want me to take it off? And they're like, no, no, step out of line. We're going to give you a pat down. Do you want to go in a separate room for this? And I was like, do you need to bring me in a separate room? What are you going to do to me? She paused for like a solid three minutes. And she was like, no, we can, we can do it out here. And I was like, oh, we can do it out okay. here. Okay, okay, cool. But I was standing there like spread legged in three inch heels at 630 in the morning. Like, this is a great way to start my trip. <laughs> and all of her security bins are backing up. I'm trying to <laughs> like grab everything. <laughs> my suitcase is like falling over the thing. You made a friend on the plane, didn't you? Oh. Who <laughs> just randomly start going like like this to himself. <laughs> like, like, I don't know if he thought that would prevent clots. Bad, <laughs> Tommy. Bad. <laughs> but he'd be like banging on his leg. Like, like wake up, muscles. <laughs> don't clot. <laughs> I was like, okay, dude. Just stay on your side. I just, I don't and then, like, then like Carly's by the window, and so we're like looking out, and then I like move my head for a reason, and I'm like, oh, and he's like, he's like right there, like what, what's going on in the window? I look too. We're sitting there, and I didn't know all this was going on, but all of the noise you hear, it's like. <laughs> going to spit it out and then it never got like he was like about to spit like it was like up his nose and then like when it sounds like he's you're gonna spit and then it never happened i'd have a magazine I'd be like <laughs> and she would be like no. <laughs> like three and a half hour long flight with spin <laughs> literally there's like seven people in line for this bathroom so he gets up and goes to the bathroom but doesn't get on a line he just stays in line with them so like people keep moving and he's moving up but then he like goes back in the line and we're like <laughs> Wait, didn't he just go to the bathroom? And he just kept being like, I know. and like standing over there. And then I'm like, are you in line? And he's like, and I'm like okay. Did you, did you learn his name? I did not. You didn't ask his name when you no. sat down? I ask people's name when I sit down on flights. I'm like, hello, how are you? He sat down with his phone and was like, probably looking up like how to not plot on airplanes. <laughs> Smack oneself for <laughs> There was like this whole crowd of people that had um, Manchester, England accents, and they were, like, shouting back and forth because they weren't sitting next to each other, and be like, oh, mate, <laughs> would you, would you, like, pass the magazine? <laughs> <laughs> they would like, and be like, I read that one last. <laughs> what? In the airport. And we're, like, putting all these napkins down because it's so soaking wet in a bathroom, and we're like, oh, we can plug a curling iron in. So Carly pulls the maid over, who's, like, who's like doesn't care she's trying to clean the bathroom and it's like like she's an electrician does this outlet work can you fix it for me and she, and she pushed the reset button i'm like yes i pushed the reset button it's not working and she's like she's like okay i go back to cleaning <laughs> i'm supposed to fly today they told me if i had any sinus pain at all and that's to get on the airplane they're like warning your eardrums will erupt like giving me the most horror stories ever so last night i was sitting at home and my dad's trying to be like Carly, you really shouldn't do this. It's gonna hurt so bad. I you went really once and I only had a cold and it was the me worst crazy. experience of my life. And he's like going on like WebMD and all that stuff, and he's being like, My cousin's friend got on an airplane with a sinus infection and his cheek blew off his face. It was horrible. I spent so much money on nothing. Here are the shorts I bought. Look how pretty they are. Amazing amazing went in the first thing I looked at was a, like I'm wearing a sequin jacket and I pick up a sequin shirt so literally every sequin item she had in the store she brought up to me she could be like do you like this sequin thing and I'd be like nah I'm good my room you want to take that where are these sequins with these sequins Wait. like they're gonna be sold out they were like fit for your body mm -hmm. amazing I didn't want to buy them because she was so pushy but I bought them <laughs> because they were so sparkly. <laughs> we're sitting in the corner. We weren't sitting in a corner. We weren't being mm -hmm. like antisocial, but we were just standing. And Gina was like, oh my God, this girl has the, the best ombre dark hair I've ever seen. And she started walking up to us and we're like, she knows we're talking Come about her. She can hear it. And she was like, watch your videos. But that was, I was like, I think, I think they paid her. This is the girl we brought out here. Can you tell her that someone likes her? <laughs> yeah. Just pretend like you know her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. No one really watches me. She probably left and she was like, where's my money? <laughs> I didn't sit oh. down today. No. We there was, was like no filming sitting. nonstop, like doing And in stuff. addition, it wasn't just walking like in an <coughs> office. It was like, we were at different facilities and factories and it was, it was a workout. in a factory today. <laughs> here we're thinking, we're like, oh. We'll stop at a fast food place. We're not going to get, like, room service cheeseburgers because that's going to be so expensive. I know. Going in and out. And we're like, okay, we should buy one for our mom. Well, then if we get one for mom, we should get one for dad. Well, if we get one for dad, we should get one for both of our brothers. brothers. 
and us. I'm walking out with this like bag of t-shirts like, thanks guys, you know. So we spent over $100 to get in and out and mm -hmm. to get back to the hotel. <laughs> so she's like trying to film me like doing all this like denim stuff at the company. She's just standing there just like, <laughs> and then I keep walking out of the room for something and she just goes, <laughs> I don't think anyone under like, oh, I don't know, our mom's age knows that movie. While we're walking back in with all of our in and out bags, we're sitting at the elevator there's and there's a like, little sign yeah. Yeah. that says, this was one of the elevators used filming true lies. <laughs> my <laughs> animal, you got there. <laughs> Say something. <laughs> at we that point where everything is funny. <laughs> saw how the Titanic was steam powered today. <laughs> I've been working on the railroad. <laughs> I'm so tired. I get a bubble gas. I feel like I'm not even like in the real world right now. I don't even grasp that I'm in like a different state still. Yeah, and we couldn't sing our Miley Cyrus song. Still put my hands up in my song. All right guys, that's the end of day one. We're here for three and a half days. Ah, <laughs> talk to you guys later.